Hello guys, Tutor here. This is a FIFA 13 video on Ultimate Team, as you can see in the background. There's a nice little false 3 one formation there. This is CBI, could be interesting. Basically, I get a random player or foothead, and then make a team built around that player. So, let's see how it goes, and we can get on with showing you the team I have. So, the actual player that I got that was random was a centre-back. So, he was Astore. A story plays for Calgary here. Is he a story? Four two three one formation. Italian plays for Calgary. Six and nine pace, so it's not too great. But he has got eighty three defense and eighty heading. So obviously he plays in the Syria. He's got th three star weak foot and two star skill moves. He's six foot two as well. So with the eighty heading, he should be all right in the in the box. In well, in both boxes. As you can see, he only cost me four hundred coins. Our second centre back is Gambarini. He plays for Napoli, also in the Serie A. He's also Italian. He's got a, a lot better pace at 78. He's also got 80 defence and 78 heading. This guy is 6 foot 1, so he's also quite tall. 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. This guy actually cost me 1600 coins, so still not that bad. As you can see, centre back, 43 1 formation. Napoli is the club, Serie A league, etc. Onto our left back. Now, our left back, as you can see, is Antonini. He's Italian, plays for AC Milan, 81 pace, at a 6 foot defender. A 6 foot full back has got 81 pace. That's really good. Six, 76 dribbling as well. 74, 74 defence, 70 heading, 3 star weak foot, 2 score skill moves. He's got the right footed so he could cut in and shoot if he wanted to. And still, it only cost me 400 coins. This is a cheap team. This is what I'm going to try and do. Build cheap teams. So here's the right back. The right back is Jonathan. We all know Jonathan's code is Brazilian. Plays for Inter Milan. 5 foot 7. So he's the usual full back build. 3 star weak foot. 2 star skill moves. Right footed. He can whip those crosses in with his uh, 76 passing. He's got 88 pace. 81 dribbling. And he only cost me a 1000 coins. Which isn't bad whatsoever. As I'm showing. I'm showing the general card cards is on high fitness ish blah blah blah, blah. on to the goalkeeper now I have never heard of this keeper before Sorrentino rating 80 and he's not actually that bad he plays for Shive Shilevo Verona also in the Serie A he's also Italian he's 6 foot 1 he's got 82 diving 82 reflexes which are brilliant in a keep anyway but he's also got 80 handling and 80 positioning and he only cost me 500 coins so basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into one game, after building the squad, and that is going to be my, the game to show you. So that is the back five, if you will, sorted. Now our next player is going to be a second defensive mid. He's one of my favourite players in this team, and that is Luis Gustavo. He plays for Bayern in the Bundesliga. Bayern are an amazing team, and he is one of our, he is an amazing player there. Six foot two, three star weak foot, three star skilled moves, left footed. 83 defence, 75 pace, 76 passing, 76 dribbling. He's an all-rounded centre defensive mid player. And he only costs you 700 coins. That is a, that is a bargain. You, just go buy one. Go buy one, make a squad to fit him in. I'm actually really liking this squad. I really like this squad. I didn't expect to like this squad, but I do. And I might actually keep it. The plan is to sell this squad and make the next one, but I might actually keep this one. The opposite centre defensive mid is Williams. He's also resilient to link with Gustavo. He plays for Udinese, which also links with the rest of the players around him because they're all in the Serie A. So we keep him with the chemistry going. It's actually a 99 chemistry team. So this guy's 5 foot 9, he's right footed, 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. 70 pace, 74 dribbling, 77 defence, 72 passing. That is not bad, especially for 400 coins. That is like just, just over discard values, so it's not bad. And I actually found he works really well with Gustavo. And I only I also put him in to make another link, which will be shown in a second. So the left competition is actually going to be occupied by Merkel. He is German. Has recently transferred from Genoa, 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 Genoa uh, to Udinese. 75 rated cam, 74 pace, 66 shot, 75 passing. 70, 70 dribbling or 79, I can't tell. He's 70 dribbling. 
three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Only cost me 350 coins, and that is the new card expected to cost me a bit more. That's one of my favourite players on career mode. The other cam, the right cam, is Renato Augusto. It's the old card when he played for Bayer Leverkusen. Obviously, in the gentry transfer window, he's moved to Corinthians, but that wouldn't have helped the squad if I put him from the Corinthians in. This is this guy's a monster. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Six foot one, right footed, gets the cross in. Eighty three dribbling, eighty one passing, seventy three shot, seventy six pace. His pace is low, but he's got good dribbling to make up for that. And he costs me seven hundred fifty coins. As I said, this is a cheap team. Now, the centre forward role is going to be Schlaudraff. Schlaudraff plays for Hanover. And excuse me, one second. Sorry, I actually died there. This guy's got 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. It was bought for 850 coins. 82 pace, 76 shooting. He's not a bad player. Fits into that centre forward role perfectly. Now the striker is going to be Esvain. He's German to link with Merkel, Schlaudraff. Also links with Schlaudraff due to he plays for Nuremberg, which are also in the Bundesliga. Now this guy, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. He's 6 foot. He's got 73 heading, 90 pace, 70, 70 shot, 75 dribbling, good player, and he only cost me a thousand coins. Altogether, this team cost me less than 10,000 coins, that is the idea, that is what I'm planning to achieve. So there's the team, only two rare players in there, and I was hoping for an easy game, but I got this team, when it appears. I'm a bit too early. Here it is, it's coming. 4-4-2 Premiership team, Suarez and Torres up front, we've got Bale, we've got Najere, David Silva, Walcott, Informed Ivanovic, Informed Daniel Agger, Ashley Cole, Company, Larice in the net, I was like, oh no, I'm going to absolutely get murdered here, I'm actually going to get murdered, but as you can see, this is the start of the game, I have not cut to the first goal, because the first goal comes pretty quickly. I kick off and decide to go on the attack, but soon get it taken off me and they counter. And I'm like, oh no, this isn't going to go well. But I call Sorrentino out and he makes the grab without giving him a penalty. But now I go on the break. Camerini's just got off off of injured and puts a nice through ball to Slaudraff, who uses the pace he's got to run on and puts it to the far post. Nice little goal in the fourth minute to set us off. Does a nice little front flip. There we go. Now, shortly after this, we get our second goal. Now, I'm completely surprised about this for the simple reason that the team I'm playing against, the team I'm playing against should not be giving these goals and the balls away. Obviously, the player, it's down to the player, but Slaudraff plays a nice through ball to Esfain. Esfain crosses it in, Slaudraff gets his head on it, and there we go, 2-0, four minutes later in the eighth minute, and it's 2-0. We're in, a good, we're in good standing to win this game against such an amazing team. They've got company and informed Daniel Lager. But here, Renato Augusto gets the ball in front of the box, runs in, puts it in far pole, with his left foot. Give you the advantage of his four star weak foot there. Pass Larice straight into the top corner. There it is, 3 0. Now, they do get one goal back here from a throw in. They pass it. They pass it forwards, they get it upfield, well, they get it towards the box. Suarez gets it in the, in the middle of the 18-yard box and places it top right-hand corner. Sorrentino can't reach it, and there it's 3-1. At this point, I'm panicking, but here's a look at the half-time stats. I'm in 3-1, I've had more shots, I've had less possession, so really I shouldn't be, but my shot and pass percentages are a lot higher. In the 56th minute, I make it 4-1 with slow draft, a nice little run through loads of like about four players into the box, left footed, bottom left hand corner, jobs are good in. Here we actually have our fifth goal, so it's not 5-1, S-Wing gets a nice through ball placed to him through slow, from slow draft, and then he puts it in the top corner, out of the reach's reach, making it 5-1, this is against such a good team, 
Now, one of my favourite players of this team is Gustavo, and he gets his goal here, even though he picked up a yellow card. Nice little left foot. Beautiful. Gustavo is probably my favourite player in the squad. Maybe Slaudraff got up there as well. Now, this is the end of this. Hopefully you liked it. Please like, subscribe if you like. Uh, follow me on Twitter, my link will be in the description or on my channel. Nice 6-1 win over a very decent side. See you later.